Welcome back to Enley Carnegie Stadium for what seems like another end of an era. We've had the end of the South Stand. We've heard the announcement of Rob Burrow and Danny Maguire retiring and moving on to another club respectively. And then, if that ain't enough, the iconic, famous wooden North Stand that you started in, Rob, watching Leeds yeah. back in the day, is coming down as well. Just before we get on to your career, just tell me a little bit about your memories coming here, presumably with your dad, Jeff Burrow, in this nice wooden North Stand. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, a lot of it's obviously about the South Stand, but I was always in the North Stand. I was sat down uh, in the blue seats, just at the side of the the Rhinos dugout. Um, really? I, I was sat there just before you came. Actually, I was trying to get a, a picture of where I used to be. But yeah, um, I mean, obviously th this was a, an electric stand as well. Obviously, the vocal part came from the South Stand, but um, us over here, we had, we had we had a good view, and obviously, and I used to like the players coming out, and I used to stand near the entrance when they, when they came out. Who were your favourite player? Who did you like to see Sand in that, in that dugout? I, I flash back to when Yesterday Now he's played, really, right, yeah, uh, which was in my yeah. teens. It weren't, you know, when I first came when I was seven. Uh, just, you know, when, when it was something I was serious about doing and I think I'd signed for the club then, so being able to join this club at 16 but growing up watching people like Yesterday Now is knowing that, you know, maybe one day you can you can be on the pitch alongside him and, and to say I did get a few games in with yesterday before he went to Rugby Union uh, partnered, it partnered him in, in, in the halves so that was a real special moment You, you come in to back in the you, you playing days now with Leeds and uh, I was at training with my young boys and there's a lot of Leeds fans down there at Stanley Rugby League Club and they're saying they're almost in tears watching Rob play and, uh, with, with Danny Maguire against Salford in September um, and they said it was almost like winding the clock back to 2004 so you get out of dummy half Square that full back up, see uh, Rob crashing over there. Um, it is coming to an end, but did you ever think, oh, I don't know if I could do another year? You've always yeah. convicted in your own self that, yeah. that, you're, that you're happy with, with finishing? No, I, I am happy with finishing, and um, you know, I've, I've always probably could physically could have done another year, yeah. but um, I don't want to be at the point where, oh, I can't do another year because I've done too much. You know, yeah, I always yeah. want to sort of yeah. go out on my terms and on a high and. Um, I never want to be a player which could have been potentially next year where I'm not having an impact on the game because you know, like me. I, <laughs> <laughs> don't be daft don't be daft no but I, I really didn't want a year where um, I kind of lost what I was always about um, yeah. and I want to go out on a high so um, you know hopefully I can achieve that right I've got a really hard task for you to finish with now we're going to go through your favourite or your best 1-13 to 13. now Everybody's got a, a, an opinion and it's never easy because what a lot of people don't see is the players off the pitch, which is 95% of our time and it's such an important part as well. It's not all about what goes on on the pitch, though that is important. Sometimes good players, uh, their influence off it as well. So let's, let's start. Without further ado, of all the players you've played with, who's your best fullback? Who's your favourite fullback? I'm, you know, not to offend anybody because I'm, I'm, I'm currently playing with and I've been playing with some absolute amazing players, but I think sort of characters on the club who, yeah. who I've been involved with right from day one, which is a lot of years. Uh, somebody that stands out to me is Brent Webb. Yeah, um, Superman. Yeah, Superman. Uh, I was a big, big fan. And whilst he was at the club, I was a bit a bit like a fan of him anyway, regardless right. of it being a teammate. That's cool. Um, and he came over right in the prime of his career. You know, he weren't past it or anything like that. He came to play and, and I think... He just he just did so much with this team. It was like a third half back on the pitch, and you know, he'd be out back of a of, of a of a play, and he'd make that right decision pass. He could have a hit short or hit long, and he always used to find the, the correct pass for a try. Who are your top winners? Yeah, Scott Donald was fantastic, and and I think that the, the standout moment was that try he scored in the grand final, the 2007 grand final. I, re I remember it. Tony Smith stood up like that. Yeah, he's done it, <laughs> and uh, he always he always used to say you had to have one ginger person in the team as well. Yeah. Diversity. Yeah, he, he yeah, you've got to fill the quota. You've you? got to fill the quota. One ginger person and uh, Scotty Donald done it. Who's your other winner? Uh, currently now, Ryan Hall. Ryan Hall. Um, yeah. Again, and I think it's because I have a bit of a relationship with him. I always defend on the left. I always play on the left, and and these are all left-sided players, so right. I'm probably more favoured because of that. But um, again, I've had some out uh, outstanding players, but. Um, you know, defending at side of him, and when he carries the ball up, it's just like having another forward on the pitch. Yeah, he's, and, he's um, good. He's good. Who are your top centres? Because we have had some absolute belters. Can I pick three? Oh, oh, sure no, we we'll put one on bench yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, okay. we'll, yeah, we'll, well put one on bench. Currently now, Joel Moon, and I know he's been playing at halves this year. Yeah. Um, you know where where you put him? He's got to be involved in your team somehow. Moon is an absolute world class player. Again, somebody who, who could have quite easily stayed in the NRL all his career, but he, he's come over here for for a challenge and. 
And I think he's one of them people that you'll you'll remember in 20 years' time has come over and really, really played his best rugby. Keith Senior, my mate Keith. Yeah. Uh, the original guy who looked after me on the pitch. I always make sure I have a few guys who just have got me back, just in case <laughs> it kicks off and I can't handle it. You know, obviously, as a small guy, you need to be looked after quite often. And uh, he was the one who uh, <laughs> always had me back. And, uh, you know, I still keep in touch with Keith. Great fella, legend of the game. Yeah. Um, and again, a left-sided player, so excuse me for being biased to the left. And who was the third, he said? Uh, said Callum through. Watkins. Sorry, oh, Callum. Like, yeah. Oof. Callum's just a... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a freak, isn't he? And, and, yeah, yeah. Um, Again, I think when, you, when when he hangs up his boots, he'll look back and think, what about that Callum Watkins sort of player? Um, who are your top halfbacks? I think, um, I mean, the lads I've grown up playing with, you know, Kevin Danny, um, right. legends of the club, will remembered um, forever, just like your, your people, like Lewis Jones and, and, and people like that. John, uh, Holmes, John Holmes and Gary Schofield. People like that will, will, will look at Magsy and Kev, yeah. not only for, for them being world-class players, but for them being at the heart of, of, of the hub of, of, at, at the most successful time in the club's history. So, yeah. um, best captain you could ever imagine in Kev, just... Complete leader. Who are your two front rollers, Rob? God, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's tough, mate. It mm. is tough. Do you know what, Jones? I'll, I'll, I'll pick four, but only because I'm using the bench right, in the so rotation. Use it bench here, use it bench. Uh, so, Barry Mack. Yeah. Grew up watching him in the last few career, uh, games of my um, you know youth coming up before I joined here, yeah. watching him play, nutcase. And he was absolutely fantastic to me. I think he had. If he played now, well, he wouldn't play now, would he? Because he'd be banned all the time. Yeah, Some of the stuff banned, he yeah. did was yeah. absolutely ridiculous. I can't get through a week. Absolutely ridiculous with that. Um, but he was an absolute great character of the game and great for this club. So Barry Max, obviously, in there. Jamie Peacock, yeah. I don't not have to say much about him. He's been absolutely fantastic right throughout his career. Um, I remember when I got stepped by him when he were at Bradford then. I never lived that down. Obviously, I'd bench him with Kylie. Uh, I'd have a rotation Kylie. with Kylie. Yeah. Get a good five minutes out of Kylie each game, didn't you? So, yeah, um, good five minutes, yeah. Uh, he'd be a bit of an impact player. Then he, wanted his, he went in for his wages. <laughs> That's like, it. Please, sir, please, sir. <laughs> great, great <laughs> player in Kylie. <laughs> and you uh, got one more. Who's your other one? Um, you can't remember, obviously, though. you've played in there, yeah. Ah, oh, God. What about Bales? Tell me about Bales. Bales was, uh, oh, a, Bales was just a, he was mad, he? a gr- crazy guy. But again, yeah. a lad who I, who I grew up with, you yeah. know, from the academy, and we had some real good fun yeah. and a real bond uh, growing up in the academy together. Um, probably the, the best time in your life in a way because yeah. there weren't as much pressure but you just had fun with these lads who you just all come together and tried to, to get a living out of so did, did you play in that game and come out in the bandana yeah I did yeah I, I've pretty much been through every phase of Bailey's career <laughs> when it, wearing gloves or bandanas or <laughs> crosses like upside Mr. down T, on yeah. his cheek Bailey, <gasps> Bailey were great and, and you know the, the personalities you'll never forget about right then back row you don't have to choose me Rob because there's people like LLO TT Gareth Ellis uh, and a whole host of yeah. unbelievable back rowers that we've had at this club well I think you've named them Jonesy I think Gaz and, and Ali yeah. um, Gaz again still keep in touch with him today absolute brilliant bloke brilliant player yeah one of the big enforcers who went over to NRL and really made an impact, but you know he made a massive impact to this club as well. And then Ali Lawatiti on the other, world, uh, other side of it was just a freak in many ways. Um, I mean, it was compared to the Michael Jordan of, uh, yeah. of rugby. Uh, and again, he came over in the prime of his career. And I think the first time I remember him was he came out, he had the ball in his right hand and just, just flicked it a, a probably 15, 20 metre pass out <laughs> to Mark Calderwood. Yeah. And he went down the side and I'm like, wow, he's here. Great fella, unreal. lovely fella, unreal. but absolutely un- unreal, unreal person on the pitch. Good on you, good on you. So, big finale. You, Jonesy, it's you. Okay. It's you. Yeah, no. Um, oh, I mean, okay. he's a nice guy. No, no, no. no. I-, I was saying to you, where do you want me to put you? I'm going to put you in ours because I know you do a good job there. But, uh, <laughs> what a spell of this year. There is that many people, so uh, I'm not just saying this because you're here, but I think you know every player, uh, every team needs a player like you, Jonesy, who um, you know go above and beyond and do the tough stuff, which doesn't always get you know, it didn't didn't get the, the sort of accolades it used to do but I think it gets more so now I think people in rugby are getting smarter and see the work the people like yourselves do Jones do which really you know you do you do the tough stuff you, you work your, your socks off and um, without people like you um, people like the yeah, that's Kevin Danny and, and people like Keith Senior won't be able to to do the, the glory stuff but um you know, if, if they had 13 Jamie Jones Buchanan's in this team <laughs> who want to play for the club as much as they do and, and, have, and have had a dig like you have, Jonesy, then uh, we'll be in a good place. Too kind, sir, too kind. What a legend, what a good lad. I'll miss him. Him and Magsy, the, the six and seven. What a, a great area it's been. Thanks very much for your time, Always, Rob. Mate, anytime. He's a legend. 
Jones, obviously we got carried away and I missed out number nine. And how could I miss out number nine? And that's got to be Danny Badiris. Absolute legend of a player, legend of a bloke. And for the two years he was here, he was so inspirational, not only for the team, but to every player. Uh, Danny Badiris is my number nine. Came close by a lot of people, but how can you leave the legend Bedetti out? <laughs>